What's good guys, it's JB, and as you can tell, I'm not in my studio today. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a super simple gambling machine in Yeep's Hide and Seek. Before we get started, I just want to say that this is super customizable. You can do whatever you want with it, and I'll show you that later. But yeah, let's uh, let's just get straight into it. But before we do get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you want to join the Duck Army, which is the best army in all of Yeeps, just subscribe to this channel. It helps out a ton, and you can be a part of a cool community like this. Alright, so first I'm going to just prove that this works. So essentially I hit this button. It's gonna do its thing, and then it'll randomize. I got green. I'll hit it again, and we'll see what we get. I got blue. Hit it again, see what I got? Green again. <laughs> Alright, so before we actually start building, I gotta tell you guys what items you're gonna need. First up, you're gonna need the randomizer block. It looks like this. Then you're gonna need these two wires. Then you're gonna need a button. And you can either use wireless receivers like this, or just use wires, whatever you want. After that, you can either use screens like this, screens like this, or screens like this one, or a keyhole like this. It just depends on what you want to get when you randomize it. Alright, so step one is we're gonna lay down the biggest piece of wood. I don't even know what it's called. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using screens like I did earlier. And you're just gonna wanna place them like this and put a space in between just like that. But now we can actually get started on making the randomizer. All right, so we're gonna put a randomizer block right here. Now on this side, we're gonna put that extension, then a corner piece like that. Then on this side, we're just gonna add a corner piece sticking out like that. Then at the end of both corner pieces, we're gonna add another randomizer. Then put corner pieces on both of the insides, just like that. Then add a corner piece on both of the outsides, just like that. Now that we have this, we gotta connect them to the light bulbs. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use wireless transmitters, just like this. But you could also use wires, it's all up to you. Boom, now you're all connected, so let's start making this look pretty. So we're going to place down our button, just like this one. Then we're going to want to put the receive- wait, no. We're going to want to put the receiver right here, and then send the transmitter over here. So now that you have this, we're going to need to color these, or whatever you're doing. For the sake of this video, I'm going to color this one yellow this one blue, this one dark green, and this one pink. Now we just gotta cover this up and make it look pretty. And just like that, we have covered it all up. So if you followed every step correctly, when you hit this button, it should do its process and pick one completely random. I know for a fact that 90% of people have already clicked off this video, so if you're one of those people that stayed all the way to the end, comment the word gnome, and I'll like your comment. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.